It's a great privilege to be invited to give a message in connection with the fight against AIDS. As we all know, the aim is to eliminate AIDS as a threatening global disease by 2030. So much progress has been made in the last 30 years. It's quite extraordinary looking back to the time when this terrible disease first came on the scene. But the progress remains principally among those who are wealthy and who live in countries with highly funded and very sophisticated health systems. The big challenge now is to eliminate AIDS where it strikes most fiercely and most remorselessly, which is amongst the poor and those in places of great difficulty. One of the most exciting things about the way we tackle AIDS is that it is most effectively done in communities and particularly across many parts of the world in faith-based communities. The Anglican Communion worldwide has been for decades heavily involved in enabling communities to face the threat of AIDS, to support the victims of AIDS, families and others affected directly and indirectly. That is where it should be done and how it should be done. The clinical evidence is that it is through community-based initiatives and the churches are among the best to do it that AIDS is tackled most efficiently and effectively. The great fear of it, which has been around us for so many years now, often leads to people being ostracised, set apart, not looked after. Faith-based communities challenge that ostracisation when they see in every single person someone made in the image of God, someone loved by God, and therefore someone who should be loved by each one of us. So this is the time to make a great further step, mobilising the political, the financial, the technical and the clinical resources through communities around the world to challenge AIDS afresh, to drive it from the news and to release communities from the fear that hangs over them in so many ways. What is being done on this is wonderful and those at the centre of the struggle deserve every thanks that we can give and call for our prayers that they may succeed finally. May God bless you in your efforts.